there are supernatural legends hiding in the depths of recorded time. The Civil War was a time of tremendous upheaval and conflict, and its aftereffects are still felt today. Three of the most chilling stories from that time period are discussed in this video, each one guaranteed to give you the chills. We'll go to Gettysburg, where the spirits of dead soldiers still wander the prisons and battlefields in search of payback for the horrors they witnessed during life. We'll experience what happened to the Sultana, a steamboat full of Union soldiers that sank in the Mississippi River and became known as the Ghosts of the Sultana. And we will meet the Headless Horseman, a rider who has lost his head but still rides the countryside in search of vengeance. So saddle up, because you're about to enter a terrifying realm where the dead walk among the living. This is Ghost Stories from Civil Wars. Gettysburg is a sleepy little town with a troubled past. This sleepy town was the scene of one of the bloodiest battles in American history during the Civil War. It is known as Gettysburg. Many people believe that the battlefield is still visited by the ghosts of the tens of thousands of soldiers who were killed there during the conflict. When the sun goes down in Gettysburg, the town takes on a spooky and otherworldly air. The darkness spreads out across the battlefield and the only sounds that can be heard are the occasional rustling of leaves and footsteps that are far off in the distance. The sounds, however, are not always what they appear to be. Many people who travel to Gettysburg claim to have witnessed ghostly apparitions of soldiers and heard the sounds of the battle reverberating through the night. Some people even assert that they have experienced the chilling touch of ghostly hands or that they have seen the faces of the deceased staring back at them from the shadows. The apparition of a woman in white has become one of the most well-known ghost stories associated with Gettysburg. According to the urban legend, this spectral figure can be seen by soldiers who are disoriented or in need of assistance. After guiding them to safety, she vanishes without leaving a trace after the event. But unfortunately, not all of Gettysburg's orbs are friendly. There have been numerous reports of people seeing the ghost of a Confederate soldier who is said to wander the battlefield with an angry expression on his face. It is said that he passed away while the battle was going on, and that his spirit can now be found here, where it will remain forever reliving the atrocities of war. Other people have stated that they have seen the ghost of a Union soldier who appears at night holding a lantern in their hands. It is said that he is looking for his fellow soldiers who got separated from the main group on the battlefield. And then there are the sounds of the battle itself, which include the sound of gunfire and cannon blasts, the screams of wounded soldiers, and the cries of those who were killed on this sacred ground. Many people claim that one can still hear these sounds reverberating throughout the night, and that they are terrifying enough to cause even the most courageous individuals to quake in their boots. But why do these ghosts continue to exist so many years after the war has been put to an end? Some people believe that they are here to serve as a constant reminder of the atrocities that were committed during this conflict and the sacrifices that were made on the battlefield. Some people believe that they are unable to move on to the afterlife until they have achieved a state of peace and therefore are unable to escape this world. No matter the motivation, one thing is abundantly clear, the specters of the Battle of Gettysburg are not to be trifled with. In the event that you find yourself meandering through these sacred grounds, you should be ready for anything that may come your way. It is impossible to predict when a spectral figure will materialize in front of you or when the sounds of combat will start to fill the air at night. The American Civil War was nearly over when April of 1865 rolled around. The release of more than 1,800 Union soldiers who had been held as prisoners of war marked the beginning of the end of the war. They boarded the steamboat Sultana in Vicksburg, Mississippi, oblivious to the horror that was about to befall them when they arrived at their destination. Something terrible happened to the boat as it traveled up the Mississippi River, and the situation quickly became dangerous. The boiler went up in flames, and flaming debris spread out in all directions after the explosion. As the boat sank into the frigid water, many of the soldiers were killed instantly, and others were killed after becoming trapped in the wreckage as it sank. In the years that have passed since that tragic night, Numerous people have stated that they have witnessed spectral figures in the region surrounding the spot where the Sultana crashed. Some people claim that they have heard the cries of soldiers who were trapped in the wreckage, and that their voices can still be heard echoing across the water. Others have claimed to have seen the ghostly figures of soldiers walking along the riverbank or standing on the shore and staring out at the water as though they were looking for something that had been lost. The ghostly appearance of the ship's captain, however, is by far the most terrifying of all the sightings made aboard the Sultana. It is said that he was the one responsible for the disaster, as he had overloaded the boat with too many passengers in an effort to make more money. Legend has it that this caused the disaster. 
It is said that his ghostly figure can still be seen wandering around the river, hoping to find forgiveness for the fatal error he made. Some people claim to have seen him on the shore, gazing out at the water with an expression of profound regret on his face. Others have stated that they get the uneasy feeling that they are being watched by eyes that cannot be seen whenever they are in the vicinity of the river late at night. Whatever the reason may be for the atrocities of war and the tragedy of that fateful night will be permanently etched into the fabric of the Mississippi River. If you find yourself walking along the riverbank at night, you should exercise extreme caution because the ghosts of the Sultana could very well be watching you. The legend of the Headless Horseman is one that has been told from generation to generation as a terrifying and horrific story. The story tells of a spectral rider, a Confederate soldier who was killed by a cannonball while riding his horse in the heat of battle and who now haunts the streets of Harper's Ferry, West Virginia, looking for his severed head. According to the legend, the spectral rider can be found searching for his head. The arrival of the horseman is signaled by the reverberation of hoofbeats that can be heard throughout the night. As he draws closer, his spectral presence chills the air, and a feeling of dread creeps its way into your chest. You can hear his labored breathing and the sound of his chains rattling as he draws nearer to you. And then, without warning, he materializes in front of you, a ghastly figure riding on a black horse, his headless body covered in blood-stained armor. The horseman brandishes his sword and rushes towards you, his eyes blazing with the rage that he feels for you. You make an attempt to flee, but his horse is quicker, and he manages to catch up to you with relative ease. You can feel his cold breath on your neck as he reaches out to grab you, but then all of a sudden, he vanishes, leaving you to fend for yourself in the shadows. But the horseman has not yet accomplished all that he set out to do with you. You are startled when you hear his eerie laughter reverberating throughout the night, and then he reappears, his headless body riding towards you at full speed. You put up a valiant effort to defeat him in combat, but your weapons are powerless in the face of his spectral form. As he strikes you with his sword, he makes a mocking laugh as the pain becomes almost intolerable. You come to the understanding that it is impossible to evade the horseman and that he will continue his pursuit of you until the end of time. The sound of his laughter is constantly playing in your head, acting as an endless torment that is driving you closer and closer to insanity. And just like that, he's gone, leaving you to fend for yourself in the night. However, you are aware that he will come back, and that he will remain a boogeyman in your life until the day you die. You are helplessly ensnared in a nightmare that will never end, and there is no way out for you. The horseman's spectral presence will always be there, serving as a constant warning of the dangers that lie in wait in the shadows.